Hey guys, Tiny here. So about two weeks ago, I was bored and thinking that I needed another purse because I don't have enough purses. Not actually true, but I did want a fun purse. You know, I'm all for cosplaying and wearing weird stuff. So I went ahead and ordered this. Now, I paid about $25 for this and it's great. However, today I will be showing you how to make your own very, very affordable DIY. You will need some washi tape. I got this at the dollar store, so it's very affordable. Foam, some Velcro squares, crazy glue or a glue gun, bracelet cord, scissors, and a square box. So the first step is going to be to cut up one of the flaps of the top. And we're going to do the same for the other side. So for the inside of the box, we're going to use some duct tape to cover it all inside and it also will make it not permeable. This is what it should look like on the inside. Um, I know that you can see some marks, but since this is the inside and we're gonna paste more stuff on it, I'm not really worried about it. Now let's focus on the outside and we're gonna practically do the same exact thing but with black tape this time. For the next part, we're going to take our foam pieces and we're going to measure out every 1.75 inches for us to get a total of 9 squares. We need nine pieces and we're gonna do this for all our colors. So after you have cut your six colors, I use these because these are actually from a Rubik's Cube color, which are red, orange, green, yellow, blue, and white. Go ahead and set them up the way that you want them to look. And I'm not gonna measure them out or anything like that, but just kind of gonna eyeball it. And once you have them situated where you want, we can just begin pasting.
So with our bracelet cord, we're going to cut the handles for our purse. So to add some detail to the handle and some sturdiness, we're going to get a piece of foam and put some glue on. This will also make it more comfortable for you to hold. The next part is to attach the handles. I have placed them where I want them and I'm just going to add some glue. And then to make sure that that baby is not going anywhere, once the glue dries, we're gonna put some more duct tape on top. We are almost at the end. The next part is going to be our closure. As you can see, we made it a little tighter in the top so that the flaps on top would overlap. What we're gonna do is we're going to get pieces of Velcro. Okay, I got this at the dollar store and it brings, I don't know, a bunch. And we're gonna glue them perfectly evenly so that it closes on touch. So we're gonna cut them in half so that they can fit tight into our space. They're self-adhesive, so it's gonna be super simple to assemble. Make sure that you do it with the halves on, because if not, you can't really gauge properly that they're gonna stick in the same place. This is strong. Now we're just gonna finish by putting our foam pieces that are missing on the top layer. So for this part, we're gonna just add a piece of foam to kind of make it a little stand. But you can also cover it with duct tape. Now, I used crazy glue to stick on the pieces, but if you're wondering whether or not you can use a glue gun, you can. To add extra shine, go ahead and do a layer of Mud Podge. You can find this at the dollar store or any craft store. So here is our finished product, guys. Now you can see that it's really, really simple. It's easy to hold. It looks great. I actually added foam pieces inside just to make it more colorful, but that is optional. That's up to you. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos.